I think that you know, being a DJ at a top level, uh, which is what I wanted to do, uh, I needed a team around me also to promote my records. Um, so you know, for me, the goal was to start Armada um, to promote my own music and my DJ. Be a successful DJ, I think you need to do something yes. that's slightly different. DJs, when they become successful, a lot of producers, when they start DJing and they become successful, they forget that they have to produce records. And we are, we're there as a model to help them uh, continue their careers also as recording artists, because that's what the scene needs when we could use it. Quality dance radio shows in the early 90s, and you know, I listened to them driving my bicycle to school, and that's how I became a DJ. It's as simple as that. trying to make uh, this world a better place, playing in Beirut on day one, and the next day you play in Tel Aviv, you play the same set and people go crazy. My label seems, sort of seems to row upstream because we're doing really well. I'm really proud to say I think you know uh, I think we're living proof that dance music is still very much alive.
people ask me how can I, you know, how, how can I get a famous DJ or whatever, I said it's really important to get your own records out. That's how it all started for me. You do need to make a plan for yourself. Where do I want to be? Do I want to be, you know, a cool underground DJ? Do I want to be uh, a, a top leading artist? Uh, what kind of music do I want to play? Um, you know, how do I get my music to the people? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Mm -hmm. 